A new group of wounded Palestinians have safely been evacuated from the Gaza Strip to Doha. Kahrama launches a brand new national renewable energy strategy. And finally, the heat is on as the AFC Under-23 Asian Cup semi-finals are coming up. Stick around for more. Hi, this is Ali. This is The Roundup and here are today's top stories. The 23rd group of Palestinians wounded in the Gaza Strip has arrived in Doha for medical treatment as part of an initiative by Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani to treat 1,500 Palestinians from the Strip. Several Palestinian individuals who hold a Qatari identification were also evacuated from Gaza where they had been trapped by the war. The latest evacuations come as Hamas is reportedly studying an Israeli proposal for a Gaza truce pushed for by mediators in a bid to revive stalled negotiations. Now, Qatar's General Electricity and Water Corporation, known as Kahrama, has announced the launch of the Qatar National Renewable Energy Strategy, in coordination with 22 key energy stakeholders in Qatar. The initiative seeks to increase and diversify the utilization of renewable energy sources, specifically solar energy in Qatar, and cut its carbon footprint. The initiative reflects Kahrama's commitment to enhancing its efforts in renewable energy utilization and developing related policies and strategies, aiming for a more sustainable future aligned with Qatar National Vision 2030. And finally, the semi-finals of the AFC Under-23 Asian Cup has arrived as the final four teams prepare to lock horns on Monday. Japan will take on the only Arab team left in the tournament, Iraq, while Indonesia and Uzbekistan will battle it out in the second semi-final match. The winners of both matches will lock horns for the ultimate prize on Friday, May 3rd at Jassim bin Hamad Stadium. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.